So U4, it's uh, a little bit more, it's a little difficult just because we haven't established a rapport yet because it's the first time we met, so uh, trust me, stool yeah, sure. which is this horrible thing to say to any woman, <laughs> <laughs> it never works. <laughs> um, so what is this all about? This is, this is just you meeting you. Have you ever done any video before? Videoed yourself to see yourself before? Mm-hmm. And tell me about that. Well, um, the actual picture is okay, but I always hate hearing myself. Okay. I think my voice is just awful. Okay. <laughs> what did you? What don't you like about your voice? I don't know. It's just I feel like I sound like a cartoon, and I think it's very. What should I say? Feminist is not the word, but very promotionally released. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, and things that I talk a lot and always like in discussions if uh, someone says something and I have an idea about something that should be said or maybe I want to elaborate on it, I just can never shut my mouth. I just have to say it. So when, when I hear myself on audio tapes or on video tapes, I just think, what people are hearing all the time. So like just right after I actually heard myself I just become a little bit more conscious of that and more careful I guess. Is it important to be careful? Huh? Is it, is it important to be careful? No, I don't think it's a good idea either. And I usually get over it like really quickly but at the same time I just don't like hearing my voice I guess. Is it important to be heard to, for you to voice your opinion? Always. <laughs> Why? I feel like I could probably contribute and I feel that often when I say something it actually makes sense, not just me but to other people and I'm thinking that maybe they didn't see it that way, they see it one way and I can sort of agree with them but it can also I can also elaborate on it or I can see faults on it, faults with it or see ways to improve it and I guess it's always better to just speak out just to have my thoughts out there and so also so I myself know whether it is a good idea or not you know feel like you learn more from it when other people also yeah you, comment on what you've said or your thoughts and so on. Do you think before you speak? Uh, sometimes and sometimes not. Like, yeah, sometimes I should do think about it, and other times it's just out there, and I'm like, what should I just say? Like, I just think at the same time as I'm speaking, you know? And I don't really register before I actually said it. Why? Why do, why do you do that? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I think I'm just very spontaneous and uh, very restless. I just have to get it all out, and I don't know. Does it feel better when you do it? Yeah, it does. Like if I feel something's unsaid uh, or something important or something that might seem important to me hasn't been shared with people, then it's just uncomfortable to me. I don't know why, but I just really like to voice my opinion. Have there ever been times when you didn't voice your opinion? And how did you feel? Or you can't remember the last time you didn't voice your opinion? I can. Okay, what was the situation? Um, the you that the last actually will be too personal. Okay. And, yeah, but, um, because that was a situation at home, and I guess it just, it just makes you feel weird, you know, weak and coward, I guess, cowardly. Especially when it's about you personally, then you should always voice your opinion. Or if you are to be affected by the decisions made or what's said and so on. So you don't like that when somebody else is making decisions for you? No. Because I can't stick to it. Like, uh, you can tell me that it is really important for me to put on a jacket when I'm going out in the cold, you know? 
But if that doesn't make sense to me, then I probably won't do it. And if I actually do do it, then I won't feel good about it, even though it's good for me, if you know? I actually have to understand it. So for people to give out orders to me, it does make sense. And it doesn't, like, I can't follow people's commands unless I actually agree with them. Do you like giving commands yourself? Uh, no, I like suggestion and I like telling people what they can do or ways they can do stuff in, but if they're not happy with that, then it's okay. And nobody really, even though I do see a lot of stuff, I always like relate to the person like, okay, if you've done this and that doesn't work, then you probably should do it this way because that would be a little bit different and that this is something you've done before and you can actually relate to it, it's more you or so on. Like I can give people suggestions on ways to do things or what to do that will, you know, fit them better possibly. But I wouldn't like p command people to do stuff the way I like it to be done. Do, do people, um, do people usually ask you for your opinion or do you usually provide your opinion? People usually ask me for my opinion. But that's like in the beginning when we start getting friends. While afterwards, more like they tell me about their problems and they don't expect me to say something or give them uh, my opinion, pretty much. Like most of the people I know and people around me do trust me that way. <laughs> do you like the fact that people expect you to comment about their? About you, what your opinions about them? Most of the people, yes, because most of the people are also people that I can trust and that you know will do the same thing for me and will actually hear me out as well. But I also understand that some are just friends of friends who just heard that I might be helpful and who I just feel using me. And honestly, I don't give them good advice. Like I don't care. I don't bother to fully hear them out because. I know that later on, or I always give people a chance, but when they sort of break my trust with the not being there for me as well, then I don't really see any point in wasting my energy on them or wasting my time on them. It's more like I don't bother to give them full, what should I say, full time to actually speak out, and I don't bother to think that much about their problem to try to figure out a way.